not here, so let's talk about them. Uh, <laughs> they're so soft, and I'm a mom, and I, oh, we have to have a Nerf playground. We have to have a Nerf playground. You know what? Toughen up, okay? Like, we had the wheel of death. Do you remember the Nerf <laughs> oh, yeah. You just be on that thing until somebody gets kicked up. You had the slide with the metal grates on it. You got short time. You know, we had a Nerf playground. We didn't have, you know, cell phones. We had friends, you know? It was totally... <laughs> We played outside, we rode our bikes without helmets. It was a crazy, <laughs> kids don't even know. I don't know if there's moms here who have that minivan. I always laugh at my moms. They have the minivan with the automatic closing door. Do you know the minivan? <laughs> the snow, because you don't want anybody to get hurt. Okay, you don't even know childhood until you've got your friend's fingers caught in the minivan and you have to go find your parents to get the keys, okay? Like, there was no like automatic lock, you know what I'm saying? Like these are. These are tough times, my kids. My daughter, my first grader, got in trouble, literally in trouble, because she went like this to another first grader. I'm like, do you even know what we used to do to each other in dodgeball? I mean, and God has given me kids to humble me and um, just tempt me to drink heavily. I'm just being honest. Just being, and I don't always win that war. So um, the first grader is, I, you, I was, I was, I had the first one, and she's what you would like to call spirited, okay? She's like the alpha, she's gonna run a country. And, um, you know, she's the one's always getting kicked out of daycare because, you know, she's fighting people. But um, we would always go to church, and like, my, my kid was 232, and they'd always be paging me, paging me, and they get mad because I don't respond to the pages because I was always at a movie. And, um, like, you haven't done it, okay? Um, and then, you know, and then so I feel, and I thought I got that out of my system, and then you feel like you're such a good mom because you raise your kid, and it's like your only kid, and she eats organic, and she doesn't watch TV, and then you do the stupidest thing that any mom could ever do. You let your kid go to grandma's house for the weekend, and if there's any grandmas here, you know you are loving that because you want to pay your kids back for the teenage years, right? That is the joy of being a grandma. My mother could ruin three years of parenting in 24 hours, right? She is sugaring up my kid, she's watching General Hospital, the kid comes home like she's a crack addict in rehab, all right? Like she doesn't even know her name, okay? And so I screwed that one up and I was like, okay, I'll start over. That's why we have more kids. And so, um, let's be honest. And then you're tired and the brain cells have been sucked out of you. So you don't remember sometimes that you have a second kid and that's unfortunate. And some of you are crazy enough to have three and that's just not biblical. I don't even know. I know that you're playing the odds because you want one of them to send you on cruises someday, but I feel bad. Like my second one didn't even get a scrapbook. Like I was just like, I don't have a scrapbook. I'm like, well, you have my Instagram account, check it out. Like, 